Right, super quick video today on something that I think all Citroen Relays, Fiat Ducatos, Peugeot Boxers and probably the Ram Promaster um, seem to be plagued with, with uh, some of the videos I've seen on uh, YouTube. Uh, let me show you uh, what the problem is. Okay, so we're in here uh, where the battery compartment is, which uh, on the uh, UK model is the, uh, the passenger uh, side. And uh, the problem is this uh, this connection here. Um, the uh, what's happened to mine, and this is only uh, four years old. It's ridiculous, isn't it? That um, that connection there is basically disintegrated and fallen apart, and I've just got a handful of bits now. And uh, of course, I can't get that to uh, to sit down any sense. So time for a quick repair job on that. So what I've done is uh, let me just offer this out of the way. First things first, as you can see down in the hole there, um, I've drilled a, a hole through and I've popped an M6 uh, rivnut straight down uh, through there, and it comes out actually underneath, straight in uh, in the in the centre of a, of a chassis member. So it's away from the fuel tank and all the other bits and bobs, perfectly safe to uh, to drill a little hole there. Just treated that hole like uh, like you do with some uh, uh, hammerite or primer or whatever you uh, you may have to hand and uh, popped my little riv name next job is to uh, adapt this bit as long as you've got this bit still i think uh, the job is quite straightforward so let's show you what i'm going to do with this bit right next job is i've got a uh, seven uh, what is that that's a seven mil drill bit in there so i'm just going to hold Hold this with a pair of pliers, and where this top is here, I'm going to drill a 7mm hole straight through there. Like that. It's only very soft plastic, nice and simple. Right, let me go and get a hacksaw and do the next bit. Right, the next bit then is going to be to cut this top off because I want it flush uh, through there. Um, so I'm just going to use a simple uh, simple hacksaw for that. This is only very, very soft plastic, so this uh, won't uh, take too long. Yeah. Yeah. Well, doing that with a hacksaw blade towards my fingers on top of a glass table had health and safety written all over it, didn't it? But it's worked. Right. There's that bit. Let's go back inside the van now. Right, here we go. So I've just pulled the uh, top cover back into place. And as you can see, my problem, it uh, sticks up on this corner. Look, I can get a screwdriver under that. And uh, now we can see my uh, my riv nut down inside there. So now with my newly shaven uh, cover cap, that sits in there nicely like that. Um, what I've got is a uh, an M6 bolt, uh, which is uh, countersunk with a, uh, a, a still standard slotted uh, screwdriver head on it. In fairness, this is a little bit on the short side. It only just and just reaches. So next time I go to a, a hardware store, I'll see if I can improve on that with uh, basically the same bolt, but uh, but a smidge longer. But it does uh, it does reach. You just got to kind of push down uh, for it. So I'm just gonna uh, you know wind that one in, and uh, it's only grabbing a couple of turns really because the bolt isn't long enough. But it's working. It's doing the trick. And there we are. Look, now we are now we are nice and flush. Um, if you uh, don't like the uh, silver screw sticking out there, of course you could always, um, you know, get one with a black uh, top, or uh, or I suppose you could spray paint the top of uh, top of the bolt if you liked. Uh, I'm not too worried about that because ready to uh, fit in the front here now. In the back here, I've got my um, cab carpet to uh, to to go in, so uh, that's gonna that's gonna cover that bolt anyway, so uh, not a problem. 
and then every time you want to take the battery cover out it's just a simple job of a uh, slotted screwdriver and out it pops so that is how we're going to deal with that one well that was quick and simple wasn't it please remember to like and subscribe blah 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 hope you've enjoyed the video and i'll see you next time bye for now